We have got a rainy night on our hands. Let's get some sleep. Ooh, still raining. What is going on, guys? Unite the Clans here, back in your life with some Minecraft. And we are here on the Too Crafty server. Get wrecked, idiot. It's a clean house out here. Uh, we are back on the Too Crafty server, guys. And I've been doing some work. Not so much on the house. Although we do need to switch which side the door is on. I put it on this side. But I tell you, almost everything I've been doing of late is uh, back this way. So I'll give you a little tour of what I have been working on. I got a little pig hole down here and I've been breeding some pigs with carrots. Got a little carrot farm over there. Um, what else? What else? What else? I've done some exploring, guys. I think if you remember when I discovered this island, there was this crazy high plateau. Reminded me of Ocean's Gate from our single player world. Well, I went up there, did some scouting, got myself an easy way to get up and get down. Of course, the mines are down there. I still haven't done much, so I won't bother showing you. But I got a little farm over here. We got some wheat. We got some sugar cane or reeds, whatever you want to call them. And then I have planted more wheat up on that hill up there. Uh, where we got all the sunflowers. I think that'd be cool to have a mix of sunflowers and, uh, and wheat. But, uh, I, I have been doing some work. I mentioned, uh, earlier that I had found a skeleton spawner and that I wanted to turn it into an XP farm. And I didn't do most of the work on cat. You guys, I have made 30, probably 30 odd Let's Plays of Minecraft, mostly building, and you guys have never ever seen me do redstone it's because i suck at it i'm terrible but but i have been doing work so we found the skeleton spawner it is let's see if i can show it to you it's all still lit up we're gonna we're gonna darken it and see if i've done it right together but it's through here whoops i thought it was through here where's the skeleton spawner through here Okay, maybe I've forgotten which... Maybe it's in a different cave. Whoops. Where's the other cave? Oh, 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 okay. I think there's one up here. Uh, no? I forget where the... <laughs> oh, what a doofus. I was going to show you where it was. Uh, I know there's some easy ways to do it. If I can remember how to find the dang thing. I thought it was through here. Maybe if I just keep... Chipping away? What's down here? Yes, this is it. Okay. I've covered it up. So there it is. It's all lit up and you can see there's the spawner and it all leads down into the center. And from that little hole there is a 22 block drop that is supposed to be big enough to lower these guys down to a single heart. Um, and so I've got this. This is my little bridge that we're going to use when we knock out all the lights. But I'm going to give you a little tour if I can first. Uh, so let's give that a try and I'll show you some of the redstone I've been attempting to make work. Uh, thanks to Snow Crash, by the way, who's a Minecraft YouTuber. Uh, his tutorial helped me a lot. Are you just gonna hang out? I think you need to be slain, fool. Get obliterated. Get wrecked. Give me all your stuff. Okay, so I have made an access hatch. Now, it's not gonna be the one that we use, oh yeah, uh, for the long haul. But this leads into the killing room, which is gonna be right here. Yeah, yeah, destroy him. And what I've hidden under here hopper with the chest so we can collect all the bones and stuff hopefully they go through a trap door if not i'll wreck it and that one's just for show because i had one on the other side uh, so this gets us in there but like i said i think i'm going to close this off so that to get to the access hatch you go through the killing room and you don't come from outside but let's descend this leads where uh oh yeah same spot so this is okay this leads the that's the the spawner through there and then if you follow this down you will go because like I said 22 block drop is supposed to be enough to lower him to a half a, a heart uh, and what we've got down here is an on off switch so right now it's on so what you get is here they fall down here right they fall down here and then actually let's go see if we can take a look assuming this works Did I, is it working I think so uh, what, what you're supposed to have through here is a pusher. Ooh, have I done this wrong? Let's have a look. Oh, God. Oh, this is going to be impossible to read. Yes. Yeah, so they come down, they land on here, take all the way down to a half a heart, and then every few seconds, that pusher, which is on a redstone clock, which is, that works by, here's the torch, it provides the power to two ways. So it powers this, which 
raises up, which allows this to get powered, and every time it does, and then that is timed by going four tick repeater, tick, 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 which then leads the signal back into here and loops it. So I don't know enough to be describing this to you guys. So let's just make sure that we got... Oh, 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 idiot. Okay, I really want, just want to make sure that we can... Uh, there isn't a hiding spot for these guys. And we might have to finish this off with some gravel if I don't have enough. Okay, idiot. Yeah, put one there. Okay, and we got some gravel. So we'll put the gravel right there. So the pusher works, it knocks them down into that, which then uh, goes into a water elevator, which if I were to hop in there, it would take me all the way up to the top. But if I do this, it turns it off. So you can see the water will just send them straight into some lava, which I have thought I have planned ahead even for that. So when the thing's off, they're gonna fall through the lava. I won't be getting XP, but their stuff will come through here land right in that chest life will be good this leads to an unexplored cave so we'll worry about that some other time guys i think this thing is good to go so let's flick it on let's power it up okay so it's powered up and we oh we're gonna knock out all the lights in that in that uh, spawner room and we are gonna tr see if this thing works i've done this once before it was in survival it was before i ever was a youtuber uh, so let's start with the easy ones. The only torches other than these, I think, are on the actual spawner itself. So I've got walls on here just in case Skelly starts spawning and messing up my business. But, oh, do I have a torch on the far side? I can't tell. Okay, so let's, uh, let's just do a quick one of these so that I can make sure I get all the torches. Okay. I, uh, yes, there is a torch over there. So let's... Grab a little extra cobble, and we'll get access to the back side. And then, oops, I guess that's going down into my my uh, collector. So we will work our way around here. Maybe one here and one here. And I'm going to knock you off, knock you off, and knock you off. And then they are going to start spawning. Where is the light coming from? Oh, above. Okay, so we can close those up. Hope, okay, they're spawning. Back up. Back up. Okay, let's just get rid of all this. I don't want Skelly spawning right on this thing. It would be bad if they did. Okay, he's already been washed down the hole. You go here, and let's close this thing up. Oh god, I can't... If this works... If this works, first try, it's a miracle. With my knowledge and understanding of redstone, a success here would be miraculous. Uh, I imagine that I have messed it up at points, but what we have got, I, I added in a little extra room on top, and I'm thinking if I couldn't implement the on-off switch I wanted, I could have some redstone lights in here, but I don't think that is necessary at this point. So we'll do that, and take this, and we'll do this. And it should be completely dark down there now. Who knows if it actually is. Uh, we'll do that. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> such a new... Why don't I just leave that in there? Let's get a little uh, dirt to fill the, the gap. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I hear noises. I think this thing might be working, y'all. We will find out. So, the whole thing is supposed to lead them through a path. The water elevator should lead them through here. And in a minute, they should start falling down this tube. The tension is unbelievable. It should take about a minute or two for things to get all the way through. I I hear them dying. Is that just them shooting each other? The great news about this spot is there was a natural cave entrance right here, which we can build up. And then there's a natural cave entrance over here, which we can build up. You know, you guys, if you've been watching since I was doing Ocean's Gate Minecraft, you know I like building out of cave holes. So I probably will. And use the caves as infrastructure. They should be piling up right here. Dang it. I knew it. I knew I couldn't do redstone. Shoot. I might have to call Captain Q. Captain Q from episode zero. Uh, let's, let's enter the maintenance shaft, and we will try to troubleshoot we will try to ascertain the problem okay so down 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 okay what's through here through here's the the chamber itself let's have a look inside 
We're gonna get a few. Oh, it's dark. It's dark. Skellies are spawning. They're being washed down the hole. So there's no problem there. Maybe, maybe the drop is too great and they're dying. That's a possibility. Okay, let's let's descend into the the bowels of this machine. Let's go have a look and see if we can't figure out what's wrong. Okay, so you should be. Okay, where's the fall spot? Yes, it's working. So they're, they're getting pushed through. Hi, freaks. Nice gold armor. I can't wait to have that for myself. Oh, I never closed this up, eh? I think I should. And I've got a... I should have put the glass window right here so I could see what was going on. Let's just smash one and we'll... Oh, don't do that, idiot. So, are they getting elevated? That's the question. Do I have glass? I don't have glass. Shoot. Alright, well, let's go up. Because if they're getting this far, that then they're living. They're surviving the drop. They're being elevated. There couldn't or shouldn't be an issue uh, with, with the elevator. Unless it's at the top. Because what happens at the top of the elevator is they get to the top. And then there's a single water block that's supposed to push them about seven, and then they should fall right off into my killing room. Oh, it's nighttime. Perfect. I always, why do I start these so close to night? Maybe I haven't. We've been recording for 12 minutes already. Speaking of, why don't I take a little break in this episode, guys? You'll see an ad. I'll try and figure out what the hell's going on, and I will come back with you. Oh, guys, this is nerve-wracking. I'm right above the kill the kill hole, whatever you want to call it. And what should be happening is skeletons should be ascending the water elevator, ending up in this shaft and getting pushed down into the kill hole. It's terrifying to be up here, but um, I got to figure out what's going on. Oh, okay, so they're in there. Interesting. What is happening down there? I still don't see him. Okay. Why are you guys getting stuck there? Okay, this is danger. He's shooting straight up at me. <laughs> All right, what I'm going to do is turn it off and then go try and mess around with it. God dang it. Idiot. Why would that not work? All right, guys, so the issue was with my water elevator. I had one kind of, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the way the water elevator works, but what you do, the signs hold back water. So if, let's say, you wanted to make one of these, what you do is you put, you have a totally enclosed, like, one one by one, like if you did this, one one wide thing, and then you go sign, and then water, and then sign, and then water. So what I had was two waters in a row, uh, side by side. And that was part of the problem. I don't know if there was more to it, but I think it's working. I hear noises in there. They might be noises from just the machinery, but I'm feeling optimistic that UTC has actually completed a redstone build. Have a look. Oh yes! Oh, we did it! Okay, so this is how this is supposed to work. Yeah, I've got a sword. I don't even need a sword. These guys should be down to a half a heart of health. Let's try. Nope. Oh, they've got more health than I thought. So maybe you do want a sword. Look! Oh, yes. Slaughter fest. Let's wait for some more to come down. Uh, you guys, the, I think what's going to go on with this series, you're probably just going to get one video a week. And for now, that's because my ARC videos are doing so well. I posted one recently, and it's sneaking up to 2,000 views, uh, which doesn't happen very often. So you can see why I'm willing to... It's actually when I... I got an announcement recently that said, like, this video has performed better in its first week than any video you've made in the last six months. So I do want to focus a little more on ARC, but we just joined the Two Crafty server, and I love Minecraft. So we ain't going nowhere. You just might only get one a week, and instead of committing to massive builds i might just come on here and play Ooh, and have you guys keep me company there's my skype bleeping at you guys i should have muted that there's a big arc update and the guys on the server are freaking out about it so 
Let's take a look at this thing. Let's get, let's do another slaughter. I see an enchanted bow. Get wrecked, idiots. All right, now all that stuff should hop down here, including the trap door I had on top. So let's head down into the bowels of the machine and let's go. Oh, we don't have to. Sorry, I forgot. Ready? There's our chest right there. Okay, so what have we got? Wait, that's the hopper. Can I not? Maybe I have to leave this open. Let's see if I can access the chest now. No, you know what we need? You know what we need is to do that. And while we're at it, let's just put this back here. I haven't had to do this in a while. I haven't tried to hide chests in a while. But what you would do if you want it to work the way that I wanted it to work is put your trap door over here. Because then I could even put another one on. But you just do that and then you access the chest from here. So a little bit of dirt, lots of arrows, lots of bone. Oh, hi, fool. Hi. And of course, I'm collecting stuff, bones and bows, as we speak. Uh, and then the best part of this, guys, is this this is giving us levels like crazy. So let's uh, throw some of this stuff in there for now, uh, just to clear up the old inventory uh, and another trap door. So um, let's try trap door in if I do that. Something like that, because then we can access the hopper. I could even put one more on top. Let's try... Let's see if I can do this barefisted. Let's see how quick these guys go down. Two. Two shots. So they can stand to lose another heart of health, but I'm not redesigning this thing. I'll just punch twice as often. I'm cool with it. Or start using some wooden swords. Oh yeah. So the best part of this, guys, is I'm racking up levels. We're 25 now. And to get a great enchantment... You want to be 30. And I haven't been back to the spawn area in a long time that you guys saw in episode 0. So what I might do, guys, is grind away in this thing until I hit level 30. And then we will head to spawn, maybe take some of the diamonds or gold that I've collected uh, out of the mine. And we're going to enchant something. Hopefully it's going to be awesome. I think I might do boots and hope for feather falling. This is amplified on the Too Crafty server, as you can tell by the extreme height of everything. Uh, so uh, that's my plan. And then we'll finish up this episode and we'll call it a day. All right? Let's do it. There. So I'm going to look around this place. Hopefully this place has an enchanting uh, station of its own. If it doesn't, we'll go looking for one. Grab some free chicken while we're in town. I think there's a like a free chicken cooker thing here. That cow's still there. That guy's gonna be there forever. I'm gonna put a name tag on that little freak. What is that for? Free chicken. Uh, yes, yes, yes. While we're here, by the way, guys, I'm gonna grab some spruce, some acacia, and replant it and take some saplings home. Oh, we got a little pool here, but I'm going to end this video. Oh, and we got a cow farm. I should feed these guys some wheat and then... No, let's not worry about it. Let's not worry about anything. Oh, it's a weird place to keep your pumpkin. Uh, so what I'm going to do, we're going to hop in here, guys. This is a perfect... Yes, this is perfect. So I haven't enchanted anything in a very long time. Oh, 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 I need lapis. Oh, I... Oh, it's been so long that I forgot to bring lapis. I forgot that that's a thing. Uh, look at these great level... I need three lapis. Shoot! Okay. All right. Let's see if I can find some. I'll be back. Dang it. Tell me we keep a supply of lapis here. You guys don't have lapis here? And you expect people to do their enchantments here? Get it together, too crafty. Oh, if I'd built that place, I would have stocked it up. Oh, I keep hoping there'll be a chest under here full of lapis. No, just pumpkins, pumpkins, pumpkins. All right. Yes, this is how you do a mine. This is great. This is a very epic tunnel. So I've resorted to going to mine some lapis, guys. I think this is the mine that D and uh, Random uh, and and uh, Q showed me. Mm, I don't know. Tell me lapis, lapis for days. Come on. Shoot. <gasps> All right. Uh, D and Rem claim this chest. Guys, thank you so much. You're helping me do some enchanting. Let's get away. 
Well, the getting's good, guys. I've just robbed those two of some lapis, but hopefully we are going to get some feather falling out of this. Hopefully feather falling stacked with some protection or some unbreaking. Guys, to explain that, to explain why I didn't know that, it's like uh, I, I'm too much of a Minecraft OG. I have been playing this game so long that that didn't used to be a thing. You didn't used to need lapis uh, to do enchantments. Uh, like, never. I, and so, when you, it takes you a while to, I, I, don't, I don't even know how to explain it. But, like, there's things in this game that I'm thinking of them the way they were four years ago. I'm not thinking of them the way they are now. I think I got Minecraft in 2010. That can't be right, can it? Maybe it was 2011. But either way, I've been playing, uh, been playing this game a long time, and it's easy to forget how it's supposed to work. Uh, so we are back, back at Wood Island, as they call it. I'm gonna make sure we get some great saplings before we leave. I should have brought dark oak. They ain't got dark oak on this island. Next time we come back, we will do that. But in the very near future, guys, we are gonna need a quick way of getting to and from here. We're gonna need a quick way to travel back and forth. We're gonna need a nether nether portal of our own uh so the moment of truth has arrived we have three lapis stolen from rem and random obsessor rem is ramuko who have done uh survival of the fittest with in arc and here we go guys level 30 protection four. Oh, is that is it only gonna give me that yeah let's try it Protection for Depth Strider. I don't even know what that means. It makes me think that I can move quickly in water, which would be, I, I suppose, cool. Let's try them. Let's get these. No feather falling, sadly. All right, let's go see if I can do anything cool in the water. And then we will call it an episode. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Do I, am I moving quicker? I'm moving so much quicker, guys. Oh yeah, here, let's let's show it off dramatically. Let's put it on the bar. I'll get the boots in my hand. This is our movement speed. Movement speed, movement speed. Put these on. Oh yes, on fire. Although I'm probably using up their durability by doing this, but that works. Uh, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of Two Crafty Minecraft. I'm Unite the Clans, and if you guys are brand new to me, to my channel, to this server, take a minute and freaking subscribe. I'm gonna be playing from this island from this world, this amplified Minecraft world, every dang week. And if you like it, stay tuned. There will be more to come. Some great builds, some exploration. I don't even know what the future holds for us. And if you love Minecraft and you've only been watching this series, guys, I also play Life in the Woods. It's modded, we use shaders, it's freaking gorgeous, and we're just walking. There's no building, no enchanting, nothing too complex. I I just walk and I talk and hopefully people like to listen. But guys, that is going to do it for this episode. My name's Unite the Clans and I will see you in the next episode. I'm going to have to slay this creature, this hideous beast. Get wrecked. And his his offspring. All all y'all get destroyed, get wrecked. I'm just obliterate him. I'm surrounded. All right. Okay, one left. Should I leave you? Should I leave you to relish in the death of all your siblings and your parents? Can you even hurt me? Okay, you're gonna be our pet. Follow me around, little cutie. That's perfect. What did that stick into? I love it.